Hi, this video is going to show you how to use a BBC proxy. That is a, a proxy server to allow you to access the BBC iPlayer application anywhere in the world. Um, now you may have noticed um, if you try and access the BBC from anywhere outside the UK, uh, you just get blocked. Um, I can show you now, I'm outside the UK and if I go and try and watch something, um, yeah, Master Chef, one of my favourites, you get this message, um, BBC iPlayer TV programs are only available to play in the UK. Uh, you'll get this uh, every time you try and connect from uh, a non-UK computer. Now what the BBC iPlayer application does, and in fact all the British TV stations do, Channel 4, Channel 5, ITV, you name it, they all look up your IP address when you connect. And if you're connecting from Spain, Portugal, the US, wherever, anywhere apart from the UK, uh, e even the Republic of Ireland, uh, you won't be able to watch any of the iPlayer stuff online. Uh, it doesn't matter if you've got a TV license, doesn't matter if you normally watch it at home or or anything like that, it's where you physically are placed. Uh, so you can get around this. Um, basically one of the ways to do it is to use a proxy server. It's a computer that sits in the middle between you and the computer you're you're trying the website you're trying to access and if it's configured properly and it's fast enough you can use it to um, hide your real location and watch whatever you like uh, I'm going to show you uh, an application now let me just close down this and I'll show you what it's called it's uh, the program I use is called Identity Cloaker it's basically a subscription a software front end to a, a whole network of paid proxies um, I use a subscription now. Uh, I have tried using free proxies in the past. Uh, it just takes so long and you have to find a different one each time you want to watch a program. So uh, there are free proxies, you can use them, but they're, they're a lot of trouble. Uh, generally takes me about an hour or so to find one that works and then I watch a program and I've got to repeat it the next time because they don't last long in the day. Anyway, th they are out there, but I'm going to show you this one, which is this. Uh, uh, I pay a, a few dollars uh, a month for this. It doesn't cost very much, but it allows me um, proxies all over the world. They're fast, they're secure, and they, they work properly. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to a UK proxy now. All right, okay. Uh, you see all the proxy servers here, and I'm just going to select a UK-based one. And basically, as soon as that starts running, my uh, real identity is hidden from the BBC iPlayer site. So it now will think I'm in the UK. So if I go to the BBC iPlayer site like it did previously, <clears throat> and what did I try and watch? I tried to watch Master Chef, and I play it here. Uh, this time it'll work because I'm running. Let me just see there. I'm running through the Identity Cloakers uh, proxy that's based in the UK. I have to select a UK one there, obviously, or they won't work. But if I want to change it and I want to watch something in the US or I want to watch some Canadian TV or Australian TV, I'll just change to what uh, that appropriate country. Just pause that now. Um, and that's how simple it is. The advantage to using paid ones is they're there. You can use them what you want. You you can basically start up your connection in 15 seconds and you can be watch, watching the program you need. You can switch to different countries. There's a lot of YouTube, um, Facebook and different things that get blocked in different countries. You can switch to different countries as you require. It's incredibly easy to use. It doesn't cost much. I think it's about five or six euros a month now. I'm not sure. If you check the link, there's a um, discount code I found that you can use which knocks 15% off, but try the trial account first, just to make sure you like it. You can also use it on, um, you use the software on your computer, obviously, but you can also use it on the Mac, iPhone, uh, on your tablet, your Android phone, Android tablet, whatever. You just need to set up a VPN. The um, support guys will help you do that. It's It only takes a few minutes and it's dead easy to use. So if you prefer watching on tablets or iPhone, or as well, um, th there's only one subscription. You get access to all the servers and you can use it on as many devices as you want. No download limits or any rubbish like that. Uh, it comes recommended. So that's BBC Proxy. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.